Good morning, afternoon, evening, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we gather to reflect on a powerful and reassuring truth from the Word of God. Because of your faith, God will take care of you. In a world filled with uncertainties, challenges, and doubts, our faith remains our anchor. It is our faith in God that brings us hope, strengthens us, and assures us of His unwavering love and divine response to our prayers. Let us delve into this truth and be encouraged to nurture our faith in God. Hebrews 11 One reminds us that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is not mere wishful thinking but a confident assurance that God is faithful to His promises. Faith involves trust in God's character and His word. We believe that God is loving, just and all-powerful and His promises are true. God assures us of His willingness to answer our prayers in Matthew 7. 7. 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. God desires us to come to him in faith, knowing that he cares for us. 1 Peter 5. 7. He invites us to cast our anxieties upon him and trust in his provision. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. James 1, 6, 7 reminds us that when we ask God for wisdom or anything else, we must ask in faith without doubting. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. The woman with the issue of blood's faith in Jesus, Mark 5, 25, 34. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press, and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Mark 5.25 34. The centurion's faith in Jesus' authority, Matthew 8, 5, 13. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed, for I am a man under authority having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. Matthew 8, 5 13. The persistent widow's faith in justice from an unjust judge. Luke 18, 1 8. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man. Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. 
Luke 18, 1, 8. Ivor, building and strengthening our faith prayer. Engage in regular and fervent prayer. Faith grows as we commune with God and align our desires with His will. Study God's Word. Faith is nourished by the Word of God. Dive into Scripture to discover His promises and His character. Worship and Fellowship. Gather with fellow believers for worship, encouragement and accountability. Testimonies. Share and listen to stories of answered prayers and God's faithfulness. Conclusion. In closing, dear brothers and sisters, remember that your faith in God is not in vain. Because of your faith, God will answer you. His promises are true and His love for you is unchanging. Let us approach our Heavenly Father with boldness, confidence and unwavering faith, knowing that He hears us and will answer according to His perfect will and timing. May we carry this truth in our hearts and may our faith in God continue to grow stronger with each passing day. Amen.